Let's take a look at command line concepts. Repetition in grep regular expressions. Let's begin by taking a look at the grep manual. The grep man page specifies usage for grep. In addition to providing command line flags that grep accepts, grep manual specifies the syntax for regular expressions. Let's scroll down. Grep regular expressions allow for repetition. We're going to assume for the purposes here that we will be working with the extended regular expression syntax. A grep regular expression may contain any one of the following repetition operators. Question mark, specifying that the preceding item is optional and matched either zero or one time. Star indicates that the preceding item will be matched zero or more times. Plus indicates that the preceding item will be matched one or more times. A number within curly braces indicates that the preceding item will be matched exactly that many times. A number followed by a comma within curly braces indicates that the preceding item will be matched that many times or more. Comma a number within curly braces indicates that the preceding item will be matched at most that many times. And finally, two numbers separated by a comma within curly braces indicates that the preceding item will be matched at least n times, but not more than m times. Let's look at some concrete examples. We'll begin by looking at the question mark. This character indicates that an element will be matched zero or one time. In effect, it makes the preceding element optional. Remember, in these examples, we're going to be using the extended regular expression syntax, requiring us to use the dash E flag with grep. This regular expression will match a line containing an S followed by an optional vowel followed by a second S that ends the line. Observe that the matches include words that end in SS and words that end in S, followed by a vowel, followed by the final S. This behavior was obtained by using the question mark to indicate the optionality of the intermediate vowel. Let's look at another example. In this example, we will use the second quantifier, 
the star or asterisk. The star or asterisk matches an element zero or more times. Like the question mark, the asterisk makes the preceding element optional. But while the question mark indicates that the preceding element must occur exactly zero or one time, the star, on the other hand, indicates that the preceding element may occur zero or more times. This regular expression will match strings that begin with a lowercase letter followed by zero or more vowels. Begins the lowercase letter followed by zero or more vowels. This regular expression contains two bracket expressions. The first bracket expression contains the character class lowercase letter. The second bracket expression contains the letters A, E, I, O, and U. The star is after the second bracket expression. The presence of the star indicates that this pattern will match zero or more occurrences of the preceding element, which in this case is the bracket expression A E I O U. We can modify this pattern to match only whole words by placing an additional anchor at the end of the pattern. Now we will obtain all words that begin with a lowercase letter and only contain vowels after that until the end of the line. Let's try another, slightly more complex pattern. This is a match. So what is this pattern specifying? It is important to be able to read other people's regular expressions in addition to the ability to create your own. Let's break it down. This regular expression says that in order for a string to match, it must begin with something from this bracket expression. This bracket expression contains only uppercase characters. So, this regular expression will match words that begin with an uppercase character. Next, we have a second bracket expression. 
The second bracket expression begins here with the opening square bracket and ends here with the second closing square bracket. Within this bracket expression, we have two character classes. The first character class is uppercase characters. The second character class is lowercase characters. Put together, let's now interpret this entire bracket expression. If there is more than one element within a bracket expression, any of them can match. So in other words, this bracket expression will match uppercase characters and also match lowercase characters. The star indicates that the preceding expression, which in this case is this highlighted bracket expression, will occur zero or more times. In other words, this total expression here, including the star, will match uppercase any sequence of upper or lowercase characters of length zero or longer. So, the entire expression from beginning to end will match a pattern uh, that begins with an uppercase character followed by zero or more upper or lowercase characters in any order. Hence, CNN matches. Why does it match? Well, it begins with an uppercase character and is followed by a sequence of two other characters, both of which are uppercase. Let's try a couple of other strings. This is also a match. This character, this, this word, begins with an uppercase character, followed by a lowercase character, followed by an uppercase character, which is completely valid according to this regular expression. Let's try another word. This is not a match because the string does not start with an uppercase character. It begins instead with a lowercase character, which does not match. So far, we've looked at the first two re repetition operators, question mark and star. Let's next take a look at the third operator, the plus sign. The plus sign matches an element one or more times. The plus sign is similar to this star, but where the star matches zero or more times, the plus matches one or more times. Therefore, when a, when a plus is used, the preceding element is not optional, but it can repeat. Let's look at what this regular expression requires. This regular expression will match a string if it starts with at least one alphabetic character.
and contains only alphanumeric characters after that. Here, the string that we provided. The first part, alpha plus, will match one or more alphabetic characters. In this expression, that is going to match y. The remainder of the, of the word will be matched by zero or more alphanumeric characters as such. Let's try another example. This is also a match. Also a match. Here, we have a match only up to the space. The space character is not alphanumeric, and therefore the remainder of the string does not match. This string does not match at all because the first character is not an alphabetic character. Finally, let's take a look at this at the last repetition operator, the curly braces. Curly braces can be used to specify a minimum or a maximum number of required matches. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. In this second example, we have specified that we want to match at least two A's, two or more A's. Here we are specifying that we want to match no more than five A's. Here, we want to match between two and five A's. And if an exact number of matches is required, a single number can be put into the curly braces. Here, we are matching a six-digit number. 